we're very happy and honored to present a big survey exhibition of Monika Sosnowska, one of the most important artists today in Central and Eastern Europe. Monika Sosnowska is an artist who uses and appropriates and transforms the visual and architectural language of modernism, especially Polish post-war modernism. And she creates lifelike and fully functional architectural elements inspired by modernist architecture, which she then transforms into something new. And she does this by using an incredibly complex and forceful uh, process of bending, twisting, contorting the material. She does this, among other things, to address a very complex um, history of modernism in Poland. In Poland, modernism, especially post-war modernism, was uh, an architecture that was imposed from above. And it was executed, in many cases, with low-quality materials, which means that today these buildings or infrastructures uh, are not only crumbling, um, they are also unloved in many ways, because they represent um, a past that has been overcome, an oppressive past that, um, that Poland has struggled against. So uh, post-war modernism, in a way, is both visually and architecturally present, and it is also a representative, a manifestation of a past system that has failed in the worst possible ways. It is almost a manifestation of a historic failure of the utopia that never materialized. And Monika Sosnowska's works, in many ways, address this failure. In this exhibition, we're showing a fairly comprehensive survey of Monika Sosnowska's sculptural work of the last 15 years. And what you can see here are 18 large format sculptures. And these sculptures give you a very uh, broad overview of the themes, uh, also the, the materials and the, the methods that she's been working with over the past 15 years. We're also showing documents from Monika Sosnowska's archives as well as 50 models from her studio that give you an insight into how Monika Sosnowska works, how she develops her sculpture from the idea to the final execution. It's uh, really important for us to make visible um, artistic processes because artistic processes are part of our curatorial mission. And um, we're especially proud to be able to show 50 models from the artist studio which almost never travel and which for the first time here are part of a regular exhibition of Monika Sosnowska's work. The models of Monika Sosnowska are extremely fragile and extremely intricate objects. Um, and because they're so fragile, they almost never travel. And she keeps all of them in her studio. In fact, she has, to the most part, only models in her studio. Her, her studio is a place where she creates models and works on the models. And she uses models to develop her, the forms of her sculptures. Um, in that sense, she works a bit like an architect. She creates an idea. She works with her hands and paper or um, uh, wire and other simple materials to create sculpture forms which she later then translates into large size sculptures. But the models are where the actual idea takes shape, where the artwork takes shape. And we show in the exhibition not only models of works that have been realized, we also show models of works that have not been realized. And you might even see, you might even spot some models of works that are in the exhibition here, making visible the trajectory of the work from the first idea to the final execution.